The bullet they pull out of King's body has a rate of rifling twist of one turn in every 11 and a quarter inches. The rifle that Ray had had a rate of rifling twist of one turn in every 10 inches and a bad manufacturing defect that is not apparent on the death slug. For those that don't know, the way that a rifle works is within the barrel itself there is a series of grooves that spin the bullet and allow it to have a spiral and more accurate trajectory after it comes out of the barrel. While rifling is always similar on similar model of guns, the exact combination of what happens between the chamber and the bolt and the rifling and everything else is entirely unique to every single gun. And the most conclusive evidence they could say is that both the bullet that hit King as well as Ray's gun were probably the same model of rifle. Which, yeah, there were literally millions of Remington 760s in the United States. That doesn't prove anything. 